So you want to edit faster? We got to talk. I'm Ron, if you're new here, one of the things we're all short on is time. Maybe you've got kids, a full-time job, and there just never seems to be enough time to crank out all those YouTube videos you've been wanting to do. So if you're like me, you might be looking for ways to save yourself some time and be more efficient and streamline your editing workflow. One of those ways is with the use of something like this. It's the Elgato Stream Deck. Now, let me quickly show you what I've done for editing in Premiere Pro, but you can also do this with Final Cut Pro as well. Now, I've mapped each of these LCD keys to specific keyboard shortcuts. I even mapped a button to launch Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, some of the other shortcuts that I've mapped are the Selection Tool, Razor Tool, Pen Tool, Hand Tool, Text Tool. This one's different profiles that you can set up. A Zoom In, a Zoom Out key, Ripple Delete key, Ripple Trim Previous Edit to Playhead, Ripple Trim Next to Playhead and a save as and a timer button, all mapped. Now, there's a couple different versions of the Stream Decks floating around out there, and they all basically do the same thing. I've purchased the 15 key version. They also make a 32 key uh, LCD key version, a six key version, if you're looking for something a little bit smaller. So why did I purchase the Stream Deck and what does it do? Well, I'll be honest, I'd be hard pressed to describe everything it can actually do, but here it goes. The Stream Deck is a tool for streamers or content creators that automates much of what you would do normally with multiple mouse clicks, keyboard clicks, or hotkeys. So you can basically map actions or keys to specific buttons to perform a function within the Stream Deck keypad. It also has a direct integration with many services and social media platforms for even greater functionality. It's actually easier to show you some of what it can do than to tell you what it can do, if that makes sense. Just one small example, I can launch Premiere Pro or any desktop application directly from the Stream Deck with a single push of the button and any LCD key can be customized. And I should mention you can create your own custom key icons or download ones that are already pre-built for you. Most of what I have here, I just built myself. What I'm really trying to do is decrease the amount of time I spend editing within Premiere Pro. Right now, I probably spend about four to six hours just editing a 10 or 15 minute video like this one, and I'm hoping to cut that time in half, ideally in half, we'll see how it goes, or at least put a big dent in the amount of time it takes me to edit a video. Additionally, I can map a bunch of Premiere Pro shortcut keys uh, to buttons on the Stream Deck so I can streamline my editing workflow. I've seen a lot of content creators suggesting you memorize the shortcut keys to speed up your workflow. And this doesn't have to just be in Premiere Pro. This can be Final Cut Pro, as I mentioned earlier, or any software that you're using for any type of editing. Photoshop, Audition, After Effects, Lightroom, you get the idea. And I'm not a full-time content creator. I've never been very good at memorizing some of the more talked about keyboard shortcuts. So now I have a more visual representation of whatever function that I wanna perform within Adobe Premiere Pro, but on an LCD keypad. Now, let me give you a quick example. I've mapped the ripple delete keyboard shortcut to this button on the Stream Deck. Now you can see with the press of a button, I can make use of the ripple delete feature without actually memorizing the keyboard shortcuts in Premiere Pro. And I can do that for as many keyboard shortcuts as I need to. Or if I want, I can use the razor tool. I can map that to another button on the Stream Deck as I've already done. And I think that the best use cases would be for more complex commands, maybe a save as feature where you're doing a combination of control shift plus S for Windows or Shift Command S for Mac OS. Again, now you can save time by mapping the save as to a single button on the Stream Deck. There are a ton of things that you can actually do with the Elgato Stream Deck and how you customize it and use it is entirely up to you and how it best improves your own personal workflow. Now I can never remember the shortcuts for things like Ripple Trim Previous Edit to Playhead, which is the Q key, or Ripple Trim Next to Playhead, which is the W key, but I will use the feature on my Stream Deck, if it's mapped to a single LCD key uh, that I can easily recognize. So you can see how I created custom icons for each of these. The visual icons make sense for me when I'm trying to remember all the different features. These icons may not make sense to you, so you can create your own custom keys if you want to. The goal of this video isn't to cover everything that the keypad can do. I'm just sharing with you how I plan to use it, integrate it into my workflow for specifically for content creation, YouTube videos. And with that being said, Elgato, 
the manufacturer of, of the keypad actually has a whole playlist of videos detailing more about what's possible with this particular keypad. So I'm gonna leave a link down below if you wanna check out that playlist. Now, one nice feature of this keypad is it does have a library of icons for Premiere Pro, which you can also download for free using its companion app. Of course, you don't have to use their icons. You can create your own as well using, again, something like Photoshop or whatever editing software that you actually have. Animated GIFs can also be downloaded uh, to the individual LCD keys as well. And if you want to know more about my process for editing videos using the Stream Deck, you know, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Your feedback's always appreciated, so I know what kind of content you're looking for. Again, I've got this customized specific to my needs. Your needs might be totally different. Again, this video wasn't meant to review all the many features of the Stream Deck. I just wanted to get you thinking, get the juices flowing about how this tool may speed up your own personal workflow and save you some time, since I haven't seen a lot of videos on this topic from a non-streamer perspective. And I feel that we're gonna start seeing a lot more content creators using tools like the Elgato Stream Deck going into 2022. And I should also mention that there's a ton of plugins available for the Elgato Stream Deck. I'll put a quick screen capture up here so you can get an idea of maybe what's available. Some may be useful to you. Again, let me know your thoughts and comments below. If you think there's a place for the Stream Deck in your existing workflow, I'd like to know your thoughts. Or let me know if you're already using the Elgato Stream Deck in your current workflow. I'd love to hear from you as well. Again, I just haven't seen a ton of videos out there from content creators. I'm thinking people are using it, but not a lot of videos out there. So I wanted to kind of put this together again and get you guys thinking. Until next time, take care and we'll see you guys on the next video.